Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today's pick a card reading is What Do They Love About You? We have three piles. Pile number one has this piece of agate. Pile number two has a clear quartz crystal. And pile number three has a tiger's eye. No tigers were harmed in the making of this. So go ahead and choose the pile that resonates with you. I'm going to take a moment to do the like, comment, subscribe thing. So there, we just took that moment. Um, go ahead and pick the pile that works for you. And uh, if you need a little bit more time, go ahead and pause that video. Pile number three, two, one. We start with you. You had the really pretty agate. And your cards are the Six of Pentacles. They like how give and take, how fair you are. You don't ask for anything from them that you wouldn't do for them. They like how strong you are. The Crone is, is the Strength card. They like that you were kind of impulsive and you tend to just have fun in life. You don't sit back and mope. You're 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 the one that's getting in there and doing it. And that's beautiful and they love that about you. They love your thirst for knowledge. You're always trying to learn something new or coming across a new fact. They love that you can see the big picture. You you're able to step out of yourself and see how things will affect the people around you and not just yourself. And they love you because you're hardworking. Why do they love you? I think the question would be, why wouldn't anyone love you? Because you're amazing. Look at you, pile number one, with your smooth self. You're strong. You give and take. You don't, you don't cheat anybody. You're impulsive and fun. You're the kind of person that, like... If your song comes on the radio, you're going to pull over the car and dance with them. And that's really cool. Um, you love to learn new things uh, about, about the things you love. And you're able to use it in a way that allows you to see the big picture. And you work hard. You work hard on your relationships. You work hard at your job. You, you know, you don't, you're not one to sit back and just let life happen to you. You're going to be fully involved in a good way. You're going to learn everything you can about every situation. They love you because you're awesome. That's why they love you. I mean, I, I can't. <laughs> you're strong. You're fair. You're fun. You're smart. You're wise. And you work hard. They love you because you're amazing. And that's what I have for you, pile number one. And you guys, literally, look at this. Look at this. You guys, dude. Seriously. You're beautiful. You're amazing. Holy cow. Yeah. So, thank you for spending time with me. And um, you're beautiful. Don't doubt yourself. You're amazing. That's why they love you. Because you're you. And you are flippin' amazing. Bye. Alright, pile number two. You chose the clear quartz crystal. And your cards are... The three of wands. Your ships are coming in. Why do they love you? Because you make things happen for them. You bring them happiness. The sun. The three of wands is about your ships coming in, but the sun says they love you because you bring them happiness. You are their ship coming in. They think you're their soulmate, their twin flame, the two of cups. They love you because to you, to them, you are their soulmate. You're a manifester. You create what you want in the world around you and you, you make it happen. You're a very loving person. You're caring. You make sure everybody has what they need all the time. 
And they recognize that about you and you recognize that about them. You're one of those people that like if they do something for you, like uh, maybe in the wintertime they clear off your car from snow and you, you know, you're, you're, you're the one that's always going to say thank you for that. You're never going to forget. You're never going to not recognize the things that they do for others. You may also be a superstar. People may, you know, recognize you as being important. But I, what I'm seeing here, why do they love you? They love you because you brought them happiness. They love you because they think you're their soulmate. They love you because they have seen you bring in things that they didn't even know could happen. They love you because you're loving and you're caring and you give people recognition. If they do a good job, you tell them. Like if the waitress has done a really great job, you tip her well and tell her she did a great job. And man, that's awesome because people need that. We need to hear that as a society. Too many people call and complain. Um, we, um, my, my kids and I, we, anytime we get a good fast food meal, we always call the manager and thank them for doing a good job. Because in our minds, if they get that, you're doing a good job. If they get that pat on the back, they're going to be more likely to take more care in what they're doing because it's going to result in good things. Um, if they're constantly getting negative feedback and only negative feedback, you know, that's when you get the crappy food. That's when you get the, the if the manager doesn't care, then the employees don't care. Um, we had a meal from Wendy's the other night that was like, out of a commercial. I've, I've never gotten fast food that looked exactly like it did in the commercial before. And um, yeah, so we immediately called and she was really surprised and said nobody had ever called to thank them before. <laughs> so, you know, you do that kind of thing. And that's awesome. We need more of that. Why do they love you? Because you're amazing. I mean, you've got two major arcana and they are the manifester and the happiness card you bring joy to everybody that meets you you bring good things you're good luck you're good luck you bring joy they they love you they think they're that you're their soulmate and they love watching you work because you're just able to manifest things out of thin air like you're the kind of person that that can get results and you're loving and kind about it Pile number two, you're, why do they love you? Because you're awesome. Because you're unique. Because you're amazing. Because look at all of this. <laughs> you bring them so much joy. You bring everybody so much joy. Because you have such a loving heart. And you are beautiful inside and out. Pile number two whether you believe it or not. And I hope you do believe it. You need to believe it. Y'all better recognize <laughs> that you are amazing. You're the sun. You're beautiful. And uh, yeah, that is what I have for you, pile number two. So thank you for taking time out of your day to spend with me. Thank you again. Bye. All right. Pile number three. It's just you and me. You chose the tiger's eye. It's a very oddly shaped one, but it's so pretty. It's just so pretty. I love tiger's eye. Um, your cards are the four of athames. Why do they love you? They love you because you know when to rest. You know when to take time out to heal. And not a lot of people know that. Too many people will go until they collapse. And because you trust your intuition and you're wise, they think you're really something special. They think you're really smart. They think you're passionate. Ace of Wands. They're excited to be around you, to be with you. They think you're someone who will help others. You're someone who kind of rushes in as a, a white knight to save anybody who might need it. You stand up for others. You help others. You're a good soul. And you're balanced. The she is the, the temperance card. And it talks of balance. 
That's beautiful. That explains why the, the Four of Athames. And you've got the Nature card, the Devil card, so you might be balanced, but you might also have a little mischievous side sometimes. Maybe play some pranks here and there. Um, you've got the Lord and the Lady. That's the Lover's card. They love you because they, they think you're their other half. You're the one they're supposed to be with. Justice. The Standing Stone is Justice. And, uh, yeah, they think you're the one they're supposed to be with. They love you because they see you as their, their other half, 100%. Let me just double check all of this. They love you because you know, you know when to rest and you know how to make them rest. Um, also, you may be really good at planning vacations to the point that when you're on the vacation, you just need to enjoy it. Like, you don't have to think, you don't have to stop, where are we going to eat, what are we going to do? It's all planned out, and it's all planned out in a way that has everybody's needs met and is beautiful. Um, because you, the next card you have is the High Priestess, which means they kind of think you read their mind sometimes. They, they kind of feel really connected to you. They love you because they don't have to always speak. They can just say one word, and you're like, totally, and you get it. And they love that. They love how passionate you are about things. They love how much you stand up and help other people. They love how balanced you are. They lo even love your mischievous streak. They love you. They love you because it's meant to be to them. This is, this is what they've been waiting. You're what they've been waiting for their whole life. They love you because they can't not love you. <laughs> you you're everything they, they want. Yeah, that's what I got here, number three. They love the way you rest. They love the way you think. They love the way you approach things with passion. They love the way you help. They love the way you, you know, can keep them balanced and keep yourself balanced. They love the way that you can be a little mischievous sometimes. They love the way that you complete them. They love how when they feel with you, they feel like everything is right and balanced and as it should be. And that, number three, is why they love you. Because look at this. You're everything to them. You're beautiful and smart and kind and wise and fun and amazing. And they love you because you're you. They love you because of you. That's why they love you. Because of who you are and how you make them feel. You make them feel complete. You make them feel like they've got everything. That justice has been served. You're what they've been waiting for their whole life. And I don't blame them because you're amazing. You are amazing. Um, the things, I mean, this is a really unique personality here smart, wise, trusting their intuition, helping other people, very, very passionate, but knowing when to temper yourself, when, when to temper that passion, knowing when to be mischievous, you know, always completing, completing them, feeling like you're filling a hole within them. That came out really wrong. Don't be dirty. Um, <laughs> but it's just, and it's, it's nice. And there's, you don't really have to work at this relationship. I mean, every relationship takes some work, but it's just kind of easy because you guys listen to each other. And that's beautiful. So that is what I have for you, pile number three. Um, I want to thank you again for spending some time with me, and I hope that you guys have a really wonderful day. And, um, yeah, that, that's what they love about you guys. Bye. For those of you wondering what cards I used, these cards are the Green Witch Tarot by um, Anne Mora and Kitty Estegard Leonard. Thank you.